Good morning, friends, and a very happy Monday morning to you. Yeah, the calendar of 2020 is galloping at full speed now. We're already racing through August, even though our culture seems to have slowed down a little bit. But I am grateful for this time with you this morning. We're going to be in the book of Psalms, reading Psalm 131. If you want to get your Bible ready and refresh your coffee, let's take a few moments and give thanks to God, for we are the church. Friends, the 131st Psalm is a brief little uh, word from the Lord. And so uh, let's go ahead and read Psalm 131. O Lord, my heart is not lifted up. My eyes are not raised too high. I do not occupy myself with things too great and too marvelous for me. But I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with its mother. My soul within me is like a weaned child. O Israel, hope in the Lord from this time on and forevermore. It's an interesting place for this song to start. My, eye, my heart is not lifted up. My eyes are not raised too high. I do not occupy myself with things too great or too small. When you first read those words, my heart is not lifted up. It's tempting to think, well, that's kind of a downer. Why, why are we heading for another lament? Is this going to be another complaint song? But really what the psalmist intends to say here is that I am paying attention to the little things in my life. I am being disciplined in the things that I know are, that are important to my life. I am not wasting my time or preoccupying my time by thinking of big, large, lofty things that are beyond my control. You know, we see a lot on our social media these days, people uh, complaining about certain aspects of our society or complaining in general about how the coronavirus has impacted them or complaining, maybe not even complaining, just expressing worry and concern over you know, what's our economy going to do and, and all of these other things. In this case, the psalmist is saying quite simply, I'm not going to do that anymore. That's going to be in God's hands. I'm going to put myself in God's hands. Like a, a child that has been weaned, I don't have to cry and scream to get my way anymore, but I know that there will be regular meal times and I will eat when it's time to eat and I will do the other things that uh, a child needs to do. I love the fact that the imagery here is not of a strong warrior, but of a tender image of a mother and a child, that there is this nature or this aspect to God's nature that is very nurturing and very calming and that uh, we grow calm and restful in the presence of the Lord when we allow our soul and spirit to just quiet down a little bit, to reclaim that intimacy that we have in our devotional prayer, to start the day and to start the week off by listening to the Lord and not listening to the noise in the world, and not trying to solve all the problems at once. When I was directing Lyft Renewal Ministries full-time, we had a, a wonderful uh, member of our board of directors uh, who uh, had made a real name for himself in the Silicon Valley area. He was such a wise leader. And uh, one time I was going on and on about all the things that I, I wanted to get done through Lyft Ministries. And he sort of stopped the proceedings and said, you know, we don't need to boil the whole ocean today. We just need to get today's work done. And I, I will always be grateful for him using that phrase with me because this is how it can be. Our minds get carried away with trying to do God's work for him. And instead, what we need to do is grow quiet, to hear the invitation of the psalmist to say, let's not get carried away with the big, deep thoughts, but let's just allow our soul to grow quiet within us. Take a deep breath. Remember that the Lord is with us. And in the quiet and everyday moments, uh, we will make our way. Last thing I want to point out is that in the time of the psalmist, the, the primary instruction in religious training took place uh, through the mother in the family, 
Uh, and it wasn't until the bar mitzvah or bar mitzvah these days that a child who came of age was allowed to go and sit with the elders and to think deep thoughts and to uh, explore all the nuances of theology. But to lay the foundation for that, the mother was given the task of teaching the children to, to recite the scriptures, to uh, pray at the mealtimes, to touch the mezuzah on the door frame, and to remember the statutes and the ordinance of God, to rehearse the great stories and to learn the great stories of our faith. In the small and everyday tasks of householding, the mother would slowly bring the children in to the household of faith as well. Isn't that amazing? When I think of all the important things that I've learned in my life, I, I learned how to cook by following my mother around the kitchen and just watching her. I learned how to make my way around the workshop by standing at my father's right elbow and watching the things that he would do. And in time, they could trust me to do part of it. And, uh, and this is what God wants for us, is to learn our discipleship one day at a time, one task at a time, faithfully following the leading of the Spirit and not getting carried away with our grandiose thoughts or our deep, dark conspiracies, but just growing quiet in the presence of the Lord. So those are some simple, simple thoughts for a Monday morning. It's going to be hot. Remember to keep drinking uh, this week. And uh, before we go, why don't we take a moment for prayer? Loving God, we do thank you that when uh, we have come to the end of our energy and we are exhausted, you are uh, still there. And that we can turn all our concerns and all of our cares over to you. And Lord, that when our mind is racing too quickly for us to even keep up, we hear your call from the psalmist to grow quiet again, to connect to you, to still our mind and to trust. For Lord, at the end of the day, our hope is in you and in you alone. And so we affirm this again this day in Christ's name. Amen. Again, it's going to be very warm. I do want to say before I let you go today that for those of you who came by the the uh, the Fumco campus yesterday to share in communion, uh, it was such a blessing to see you all, to connect, to hear your voices, to, to sense the smile that was coming through the mask. Um, I am so blessed to have been a part of the Fumco family yesterday, and so I am grateful to that. Thank you for that privilege. and. Uh, and let's keep going. We'll get there together. Oh, Funko, hope in the Lord, always. So we're okay, it's time to go. Get at it. It's a new week starting. Get out there and get busy. Remember to uh, wash your hands, to read a psalm, and to tell somebody today that you love them. I'll see you tomorrow.